What is going on you guys and welcome back to another video. So today we got one of our top free agents on the market finally signed a contract with a team. Before we get into it, I'm gonna talk all the talk, or I'm gonna put, a, I'm gonna slide in all the talk everybody's talked about. Padres, Machado going to the Padres. Hope you guys enjoy it. Way that the rest of us were, uh, and you know, I think for him it was just about finding the right place, the right fit for him and his wife, and as much as anything, you know, a team where he felt. He was going to be able to contend. He really likes the, the young core there. Uh, and, and, you know, rather than joining a team of guys who are headed for free agency or anything like that, you know, the right deal came about with the team that he thought he had a chance to, you know, to go to go forward in the future with. That's interesting. You mentioned the young core, a, a, a farm system that is, you know, built for something for the future. It wasn't just a matter of, you know, trying to make one big splash to appease the fan base. Uh, they were looking at long Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's get into it. So I got Machado's stats of 2018 and his career. Let's get into it, and then I'm going to talk about everything else. Before we do, actually, let's talk about his contract. So his contract is 10 years, $300 million. So if you guys don't know, um, that is setting the record for most, you know, signed and free agency not you know like the biggest contract but most signed and free agency now before we get into his stats let's talk about the Padres in general the Padres have been looking to rebuild their team for a while um, they are getting a lot of people to sign um, they got they got a couple young players um, that are looking like they're going to be very good potential top players. Um, they got a pretty good infield. They're building it up and it's becoming a great infield. Machado is just going to make it a hundred times better. Um, first base, second base, third base, shortstop, catcher, I'm, I'm guessing is going to be great. But in general, the Yankees are looking like they're going to be disappointed. Um... But they were asking for little money. I understand where he's coming from. They're, they were asking little money. But the Padres, what is they're going to do? This is going to make them way better. Like, at the beginning, they were here. Now they're, like, up here. Like, the, the Padres are going to do, like, before, you know, everybody thought, like, oh, no. The Padres will be good in five years, not, not in 2019. And that was, like... A year or two years ago, everybody kept saying. And now look at them with Manny Machado. Now with Bryce Harper, I know this has nothing to do. I don't think he's going to go. I think he's probably going to go to the Phillies. But let's keep our topic on Manny Machado. Padres, like I said, they are real they're rebuilding their team really good. Um, I can tell already they're going to have a good season. Machado is going to help them a lot. He is very good both at defense and offense um his numbers you could just show see by his numbers that he's good um but the Padres that's a good signing a very good signing um so like I said it's 10 million or 10 years 300 million fifth year he gets to opt out now let's get into his stats um so his 2018 stats was 632 at bats, 0.297 average, 37 home runs, 107 RBIs, a 0.905 OPS. Career is 3,720, 0.282 average, 175 home runs, 513 RBIs, and um, a 0.8. 22 OPS so as you guys see that is pretty good numbers that is actually rare to find but as that's great numbers um, I'm telling you guys this is gonna be a great addition to the Padres hope you guys enjoyed this video as always if you guys are brand new hit that like button and subscribe and I will see you guys later peace